Hello and welcome to the stream today. Today we are back with our Ultimate Decades Challenge and we are in with the family and they have been hit by the famine and we are going to be on the struggle bus. We have had to lose our crops. We've had to sell our livestock and they are down to eating one meal a day. So it is going to be very, very hard for our family. We're going to see how this affects them and how they're getting on. And so, yeah, it's going to be kind of tough. So we are hoping that they're going to do okay, but we'll be finding out who lives, who dies in um, the coming days of this well, I guess years really, because the Great Famine lasted from 1315 to 1317. So in 1317, we're going to be rolling to find out who survives and who perishes in the famine. We are currently um, about halfway through 1315, so we'll be starting that off. So we are going to be jumping in. Hi, Tracy. Welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are doing good today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the family here. All right, so we have our lovely Eileen here. And as you can see, she is just making a little bit of food here. It is Saturday at 5.22 in the morning. And she is up. She is getting ready to make some pottage for the family. It is their one meal they can have for the day, but everyone, if you look through their little needs, is feeling a little bit hungry, so I'm like, okay, we're gonna have to go ahead and make our meal kinda early for today. So she is going ahead and getting everyone's meal for the day cooked up, so we're gonna let her do that. But another thing is we are pregnant. Yeah, she is very, very pregnant. No, not really doing, it's all kicked off work. It's all kicked off at work. What does that mean, it's all kicked off at work? What does that mean, Tracy? Um, she is actually in her third trimester and due to go into labor at any time here, Eileen is. So we will be having us a baby very soon. Excuse me. goodness <clears throat> so um <clears throat> we will be having us a baby soon and we will find out if she survives that so that is one more thing that we have to worry about here in the great famine time is if she's gonna make it through a childbirth so we love that for us um but let's go ahead and press play and get started here ah. so she is Ooh. just like i said making some pottage Ernie's still in bed and Blossom is still in bed. We have Edward and Dahlia still in bed. Ernie Jr. is up. He's pretty hungry. He's come down to talk to mom about the fact that he is quite hungry. And she's like, you know, Ernie, I'm working on it as fast as my fingers can go. You're just going to have to give me a little bit of time. And Henry is feeling a little bit tense because he is unwell. He is not doing well. He has been feeling sick for quite some time now, and someone should really call a doctor. But as we know, we aren't calling doctors in this time period, so he's just going to have to tough that out. So hopefully nothing happens to him, but he is currently feeling unwell, so he's tense about that. So both of the boys here are like, Mom, we are starving, and she's like, I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. So she is just, you know, whipping them up this food. They are like, how many times are we going to eat gruel and pottage? And she's like, we are saving our stores for, you know, what we can. We have lost recently all of our crops. So I am, you know, not trying to, um, you know, I'm not trying to use all of, all of our food. I will tell you Discord not on stream. Yeah, no worries. That's fine. Absolutely. So she is um, kind of using the food as reserves. She's not like spending all of their um, food making like fancy meals and things like that. They are eating a lot of gruel, a lot of pottage, a lot of things like that because she's 
not wanting to use up all of their stuff because she knows that the food that they have is the food that they have and it's got to last them. Now, we did sell the chickens for simoleons. Um, so we have no chickens or roosters anymore. The cow we sold for meat. Um, so we get, we're going to get that in the mail so that we will have some meat products to cook with. Um, and then our garden is completely bare. So when it is time for us to be able to grow crops again, we are going to have to go foraging all over again to try to get the stuff that we need for our... Um, what did she plant? She planted an onion. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, because we can't have any plants. So, um, we will have to go foraging so that we can obviously start over again. So there's that. And I also went ahead and I increased our seasons to 14 days because I just kind of felt like seven days wasn't long enough for our seasons. I felt like I was changing them really, really quickly. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and increase our seasons time to 14 days. So now our seasons are going to last 14 days long as opposed to seven days. So maybe it'll give us a little bit longer of a time in a season and that might feel a little bit more realistic. So I have increased our season time. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but let's see how everyone is doing. She's feeling really sad right now because of her pregnancy. She's going through a little bit of a mood swing. Um, and it's making her feel a little bit sad. But aside from that, she's doing pretty good um, overall. But they are definitely going through some sadness as far as this famine as well. They woke up one morning and all of their crops were dead and gone. And they were just distraught over it. And Eileen was like, what are we going to do? How are we going to feed the kids? How are we going to survive? And Ernie was like... You know, we will do the best we can. We have our stores of our produce from our last harvest. We'll just spread it out. We'll make it work. We'll eat a lot of gruel. We made it over the winter. We'll make it again. And she's like, how long is this famine going to last? And he's like, I don't really know. But, you know, we'll we'll do what we can. And, you know, we'll, we'll get by. And she's like, I wish I had the, you know, suit positivity that you have but unfortunately I'm really really worried and then they found out they were pregnant and she was like oh my god another mouth to feed and he's like I really want to be happy right now but you know they're they're really worried so even though they have a baby on the way they want to be happy about this new baby that's on the way they're so worried about if they're going to be able to make it and they know that they're struggling right now I mean they're only eating one meal a day and they're just like, how, how are we going to make ends meet? And now we have another child that's coming, another mouth that we're going to have to feed. And he's like, yeah, but for a little while, you know, you're going to be breastfeeding. It's not like we're going to have to have another really meal that we're going to have to feed. So it'll be okay. And she's like, you have so much optimisticness about you that I just absolutely adore. And he's like, yeah, you know, it, it'll be fine. But she, she's a little more worried about all of this than, than uh, Ernie is. And so we um, love that. It looks like um, we have Edward finally up. And so I'm going to send him to get something to eat. And Dahlia that is finally up. So we're going to let her get something to eat. But everyone else has already eaten their meal for the day. And now they are just going to kind of tend to themselves now that they don't have the animals and they don't have the crops there's not really a whole lot they can do she works on her weaving and she work, makes you know her fabrics and things like that the kids can play with their little blocks and learn on their skill building and they do a lot of picking on ernie um, but aside from that they kind of fight and you know carry on with one another but there just isn't a whole lot that they can do here on the homestead because there aren't the chores that there used to be because there aren't the crops that there used to be there aren't the animals to take care of like there used to be so 
There's a lot of mischief going on, a lot of arguing and bickering amongst the kids going on. And so the family is kind of tense and things are in a little bit of an uproar these days. Um, and as you can imagine, that has Eileen a little bit tense. Why do you put that on the fire every time? You're trying to catch the house on fire. I really wish you wouldn't do that. Um, but you know. Blossom has lost her tooth. She can wait a, a while for a new tooth to appear. Yeah, that's fine. So as you can see, Eileen is really, really sad. She has taken to crying it out in bed. She's just really distraught over all of this. And I hate that for her. I really, really do. But unfortunately, um, she does a lot of crying it out. A lot. A whole lot of it. Um, and we're just going to let her feel what she needs to feel. She has to grieve how she has to grieve over whatever it is that she's feeling. Some of it is her pregnancy hormones. Some of it is the feelings of, you know, this farm is, you know, in dire, dire straits. Um, I'm going to have Ernie come out and tend to the bees because we do still at least have our bees. So we can collect our beeswax and we can um, have that to sell. As you can see, we have about 4,884 simoleons saved up, which is nice. We are gonna need that for our dowries um, because as you know, when our children become teens, they will have to pay their dowries so that they can get married, but also bills, right? Bills will still be coming due. So that's good that we have that money saved up and um, so we'll be able to pay our bills, we'll be able to pay our kids' dowries, hopefully. Um, and so that's nice. As far as our um, timelines goes, um, let's take a look at our timeline. I don't know which one of these is the timeline. This one. Um, as far as our timeline goes, we are on Saturday of 1315. There's nothing going on today, but tomorrow, Sunday, we have a lot of birthdays. So we have Talia Arendelle aging up to a child, and we have Winston Arendelle and Vidor Nielsen aging up to teens. So we will find out if they survive their teen roles, and if they do, if they are going to be able to marry, as well as how many pregnancy tries they will get. So that's exciting news. But also, I think sometime today we'll probably be going into labor with Eileen. So we'll have that going on. So that is exciting as well. All right. And let's just take a look. He is needing some fun in his life. Um, usually when he needs fun, I let them go ahead and have a little bit of a woohoo. But she is so tense right now. Well, she's feeling kind of confident right now. Um, I mean, she might be down for a little bit of a woohoo, but I don't know. We'll let him come out and fiddle around on the blacksmith table and see if that gets his fun up any. And if it doesn't, then we'll let them go have themselves a little bit of adult time. And if that does work, then bonus for us. But it doesn't look like it's going to. He's like, why would this get my fun up? This is what I do for work every single day. Like, honestly, this isn't fun for me. This is tension. Um, so he's, he's like, yeah, this is, this is not okay. You're just making me work harder. Um, this reminds me of my daily tasks and this is not okay. This is not okay at all. Um, speaking of work, when does he go back to work next? He works again in two days time. Okay. So he has a couple of days off from work. We love that for him. He still hasn't received a promotion because he still hasn't collected those five elements that he needs. That is a difficult task at hand um, just because I'm having trouble finding him elements out here. Um, there are things to dig, but he's not digging up elements. So, uh, you know, that's not ideal. It's like, go dig here, go dig there. But then when he digs, um, it's just not elements that he's digging up. So, you know. Not, not ideal. Um, so when he's done with the blacksmith stuff, we'll have him go 
dig up some things and see if he can get some elements. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. We'll see. And Eileen is just spending a little bit of time with Edward here. She is just trying to talk to him. He's obviously our heir and our oldest. She's going to try to help fix their bad relationship he has with his siblings because he is the oldest and he should know better. But as we know, he is a mean Sim and he gets, he kind of gets off on that. Um, so he's just like, I don't know why you're wasting your breath, wasting your time trying to fix these relationships with me. But, you know, I will, um, I'll listen to you and I'll take your advice into consideration. Um, and I will maybe try, but I don't know how long it'll last. Um, Ernie has already tried to fix those relationships and he's had a talking with those children as well. Um, but it just doesn't work out all that well that they really want to work through it. It says, we're working on our relationship, so thanks for helping us through it. But are they really? I don't know. Looks like Edward has not been getting along with a certain rascal. Rascals are sims that embrace being a nuisance. They excel in either being incredibly funny or incredibly annoying or both. Whether they opt for mischief, theft, or being downright mean, every sim will know when a rascal is around. In terms of sim preferences, would you say that Edward dislikes rascals? <laughs> sure. And um, animals are lame and so are you. Looks like Blossom has not been getting along with a certain pet enthusiast. She dislikes pet enthusiasts. Okay. So they're working on their relationships, but they are just, as you can see, they just don't like certain things about each other's personalities and it's making it really difficult for them to get on with one another. They are just polar opposites and it is really, really difficult for them to be friends and get on with one another. Look at them. Look at her yell at him. Oh, and Eileen has just gone into labor. She went into labor a little sooner than I actually thought she would. I thought it would be today, but I didn't realize it would be quite so early in the day. Um, so let's go ahead and start her labor here. As she repairs the sink here, she's in labor. Ernie's like, well, mom, I went, I tried, I really did. I gave it my best effort, but you know, I don't know that we are able to get on like you want us to. I really just don't think we've got it in us. You know, we're just so different. And she's like, you know, Edward, I just really want you guys to get along. There are only, you know, you guys and it's really not that difficult to just carry on with one another and realize that you have each other and and that you need to band together. So she's going to go up here and she is going to go into labor. We are going to have to give her a roll to see if she survives this childbirth and if the baby survives this childbirth and also to name this baby. Oh, oh. No, boo. Oh. Sometimes she goes into oh. labor and she has the baby like wherever, oh. and sometimes oh. she goes to the crib. I don't oh. know what the deal is with this, but that's okay. Oh, scoop up. All right, so we had a girl. I need a baby name for a girl. If you want to give me some name suggestions in the chat for a girl, we need a girl baby name. I'm pretty certain you guys had given me a girl name before, if you want me to use that. I had written it down. I can take a look. Um, the last name that you gave me was Edith. Do you want me to use Edith again? Or now? Do you want me to use Edith? Tracy, I can use Edith if you'd like. Maybe I'll do that. Let's name this baby Edith. Edith Arendelle. And 
And before we mark that off, let's just go over here and we will roll and see if mom and baby survive. So mom can't roll a one and she doesn't. So mom survives and baby can't roll a one, five, seven, 10, 15, or 20. And mom, uh, baby rolls an eight, so baby lives as well. So this is Saturday, so baby is Edith. Arendelle. We love that. We actually have a baby that did not pass away, which is nice because we have had a lot of babies pass away recently. Well, I say a lot. We've had two. It is 13.15, we are alive. And baby's name is Edith Arendelle. All right, we are on the tree. We are on the timeline everywhere we need to be. The only thing that we need now is to add baby to the actual family tree. Um, which is here. Um, okay, so we will add another baby. Edith Arendelle, female, born in 1315. Okay. And we will obviously go ahead and Get a picture of baby so we can put it on the family tree. Look at her. She's like, okay, this is really something. <laughs> Come on, baby. You can do it. Get out of her. There we go. All right, so let's take a picture of baby. Perfect. All right, so we have a little Edith now in the family. And Eileen is feeling very inspired. She is loving the fact that she has a new baby. No moment in a Sims life is more joyous than the birth of a child. Your stream keeps freezing. Oh no, is it really? Okay, let me see what the deal is here. All right, let's see if I stop the music, if that helps a little bit. And maybe that'll help a little bit. Let me know if that makes it any better. All right, so she has the baby here. We are just going to give it a little bit of a feed. And 
and let's check on you. You need to go to the washroom and you need to... Why don't you give her a bath? Give Dahlia a bath. Ernie and Dahlia have a strict family dynamic. All right. Well, I am surprised that Ernie and Dahlia have a strict family dynamic. Ernie's not really very strict with any of the kids, so the fact that he's having to be strict with Dahlia is quite surprising. Um, but I guess Dahlia is a little bit of one that doesn't really like to listen all that much, so it would make sense that he has to be a little bit more strict with her. So I guess there is that. Um, let me know if the stream gets any better because I have canceled off some of the tabs that I have open. Um, I'm just going to add the baby's picture to my family tree and then I'm going to close that app as well and maybe that might help. Um, let me do that really quick. Maybe I just have too much stuff open today. Let me just close that out and let me just pause this for a second. Give me one minute here.
Okay, I am back and hopefully this is working. It would seem that my stream is lagging pretty badly. I don't really know why, but I'm hoping that this is back and it is working okay. I Hello, Leah Maria. How are you today? Um, I am hoping that you guys can see and hear me and everything's good. Um, yeah. So anyway, we are back. So let's go ahead and get to going here. All right. So we just had our baby and we are going to, um, continue on. So let's get her to go over here and potty train Dahlia. It looks like mom is hungry again, but as we know, they can only have one meal a day, which is really not ideal because she's pretty hungry. Um, but she's going to have to just go to bed hungry, I think, which is unfortunate. Um, how are you doing today, Leah Maria? Yeah. Uh-huh. I have flu. Sand trip came in. Uh huh. How is it doing now, Tracy? Is it getting better now that um, I've closed some things up? Hopefully, it is. So she is just potty training Dahlia here. Let's check the needs of some other Sims in the family. Um, okay, dad and mom are feeling a, um, a little bit like they need fun. Well, dad is definitely needing fun. Um, and everyone else seems to be in pretty decent shape. You need to go to the washroom. You're going to the washroom. You're good. Dad just needs some fun. We're going to let them have a little bit of fun. Um, they're going to have themselves a woohoo. Nothing can come of it. The house is full. They can't have any more babies. So they're just going to have some woohoo for some fun because dad needs some fun in his life. Um, and we tried the blacksmithing stuff and you know, that wasn't fun for him because he does it every day at work and he's like, this isn't fun for me. And they are stressed over the famine. They're stressed over the fact that she now has a new baby with another mouth to feed. So he's like, I've got something that can take your mind off of all of that. And she's like, do you really now? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. So they are going to go and they're going to, um, yeah, they're going to just have a little bit of a woohoo. And Tracy, do you want me to change the baby's name to Amelia? I just saw that, that you want the baby's name to be Amelia. Oh, yeah, okay. They're going to go and they're going to have a little woohoo. Um, let's see. He's like, I am playing in the water right now, so obviously I'm not going to woohoo with you. He's like, I figured out another way to make myself have fun. She's like, really? Okay, then. That's fine if that's what you want to do. I think that you guys should actually go and do a woohoo. Like, you're being silly. That plane in the water was not something that was going to get your fun up. Like, you're being absolutely ridiculous. She's like, yeah, we can do that. Yes. All right, so it is Saturday. We just had um, Edith slash Amelia. I don't know if you guys want me to change the baby's name to Amelia. 
I can totally change the baby to Amelia if that's what you want me to do. I just need to know if that's what you want me to do. And Ivanka had a female baby with Lance. Okay, so we need to roll for her. So let's go over and do a roll for her. So if we do a roll for Ivanka, Ivanka got a four, so Ivanka survives, and the baby got a four, so the baby survives. All right, so Ivanka had a baby named what? Margarita. All right. So we will name her Margarita Arendelle. Clearly I don't have my notifications set up still like I want them set up, which is annoying. I'm trying to figure out on MCE settings how to make it where when they have a baby it will notify me so I can name the baby, but I have not been able to figure that out. So if anyone knows how to set those settings up, let me know because I've been seriously trying to figure that out for like five days and I've been unable to do it. I know it can be done. Um, I've even gone to Deaderpool's Discord and asked, and they were like, yeah, it's in the notification settings. And I was like, yeah, clearly, but where? Um, so if anyone knows how to do that, please let me know because I can't figure it out to save my life and it is driving me batshit crazy. Um, so we have Margarita Arendelle now, and we will add her to the family tree as well. I will add her to the actual family tree, um, daughter of Lance and Ivanka, Arendelle, second generation female and 1315, she is alive. Um, I will add her, um, like to our actual family tree later. I have closed it because I didn't know if that was part of our problem of why I'm lagging. So. All right, back at it we go. So we have a ton of birthdays tomorrow, but for now we are going to get everyone basically to go ahead and get themselves into bed. It is about 8.30 p.m. And so they need, oh, they're woohooing. Okay, well, they're already in bed. They're just not doing what I, you know, I'm meaning for them to do. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get all the children queued up to go ahead and get into bed to go to sleep um, because it is getting kind of late and they need to go to bed for the night. All right, and mom, you need to come and take care of your baby. Change this dirty diaper. Probably give this baby a little bit of a breastfeed. How am I doing? I am doing really good. Can't complain. Just, you know, working on this decades challenge and the famine and the fact that we now have us a new baby. You know, it is what it is. We love that for us. Um, all right, you go ahead and get yourself some sleep. She's just taking care of the little one. Um, yeah. How is the stream going? Is it lagging still or is it better? It's showing me that it's better on my end, but that doesn't mean anything. It could be lying to me. All right, she is hungry, but you know, she's also, you know, gonna have to just be hungry. All right, off to bed with you, and then tomorrow comes early. You know how it goes. She's gonna get up in the morning and need to fix some food for everyone because she's gonna be starving. Um, 
Like, she's going to be absolutely starving. Everyone else will be hungry as well. Oh, yeah, they're all going to be really, really hungry. So we'll get her up, and she will go ahead and make... Let's get her to make... Nope, not that. Or that. We can make foul hot pot. That's what she can do. No lagging now. Okay, perfect. That's great. I had too much stuff open, it would seem. Um, so note to self, we will not open up all that stuff then. Um, I will just leave um, the family tree closed because I think that was what was doing it. Because it's basically like running two games simultaneously. Um, which is probably not ideal. So, yeah, we hate that. What is he doing? He's holding the baby. He's Pretty feeding crap. in a bottle. A you cheater, you. Oh. You know what? Why don't you come feed everyone? You can cook foul hot pot, can't you? Totally you can. That way mom doesn't have to. Um, you can totally do that. Alright, so I'm going to get Ernie down here to cook. That way mom doesn't have to. Mom, you can go and you can take care of the little one. Dad was trying to feed this baby a bottle. There you go. That's right. You know the drill. Alright, so she's going to go ahead and breastfeed the baby. And we love that. And you can just rock the baby and cuddle the baby and love the baby. And we love it. And... I need to know if Brown Cow went too long without any food cleaning or attention. Brown Cow got sold, so I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Tracy, I don't know if you want me to change the baby's name to Amelia, but it is the baby's birthday, and we are going to be aging the baby up to... An infant and hoping that the baby survives so I will need to know if you want me to change the baby's name so let me know if you want to keep Edith or if you want the baby's name to be Amelia and he is just going to call everyone to a meal Uh, or not. He did not call everyone to a meal. He was just like, whatever, I'm helping myself. You guys can fend for yourselves. It's perfectly fine. He doesn't even care um, that, you know, everyone else in the house is completely starving. He was just like, whatever, I'm hungry. I made foul hot pot. I'm having myself a bowl. Um, if you guys are hungry, you know, you know where the kitchen is located. But mom's going to come down. She'll go ahead and call everyone to a meal. And we will have everyone come down. It is 5.30 in the morning, and it is a very strange time for them to be eating foul hot pot. But, you know, when they're hungry, they're hungry. They only get one meal a day. Hopefully this will sustain them for quite some time because this is the only meal they get. And hopefully they're all really hungry because, yeah. Come down here and grab yourself a serving as well. Um, and then we will see about birthdays. So we are going to take a look at our spreadsheet. And for birthdays today, we have the baby. And we have Margarita, the other baby that was just born. We also have Talia aging up to a child. Winston Arendelle and Vidor Nielsen are both aging up to teens. So we need to do all of the birthdays rolls um which is fantastic so for the infants they cannot roll a 12 a 16 an 18 or a 20 so let's go ahead and get our dice and roll for two infants 12 16 18 or 20 so one okay edith lives and two and margarita lives we love that so both of these babies get to age up to infants all right and Talia is a child she can't roll a 9 or a 19 
She rolled an 11, so Talia gets to live. And then Winston and Vidor can't roll a 7 as teens. So 1, 2. Both of them survive as well. Okay, we freaking love this. Alright, so for Winston, let's find out if he's going to marry. He rolled a 12, which means that he will marry. Um, and then for a d12, he's going to have eight pregnancy tries. Alright, so Winston Arendelle is going to have, how many did I say? Eight pregnancy tries. Okay. Um, and give me just one second here. Let me pause the game here because it's just doing its own thing here. Um, and then for um, Vidor, if we roll a d20 to find out if he's going to marry, he is not going to marry. So Vidor can't marry. So we will write that down on our tree. All right, so Vidor can't marry. Uh, let me put it this way. Alright, so Winston gets three years before he can marry. So that's, he's uh, 13, 15. So 1, 2, 3, 13, 18, he gets to marry. So Winston... Arendelle can marry. All right. And they age up in one, two, three, four, five days. So. I know, right? Why can't he marry? Um, Edith Arendelle and Margarita Arendelle go here. And then for child... 28 days and teens are 28 days. All right, so um, Talia Arendelle goes here. And this will be Winston, Arendelle, and Vidor Nielsen. All right, we have updated everything on our tree and we are good to go. Other than the fact that now we need to obviously go and age everybody up. So let's jump into those families and age everyone um, after we age up Edith. And Tracy, do you want the baby's name to be Amelia or do you want to keep Edith? Because now is the time to let me know. We are going to go age this baby up. And now we are going to have us an infant in this house. I can't believe it's already time for an infant. Oh, they're woohooing. Can we not right now with that? I'm kind of busy with my own storyline. I don't need you guys, you know, whatever. I know you guys were like trying to do the what you were doing here. 
But, you know. Alright, so we are going to age up the baby. And Edith has aged up. And you didn't tell me. Probably because it's lagging. Let's roll for the traits. So we get one, two, and three, and we get Sunny. Okay, <laughs> All right, and let's go ahead and hop into Cass and give her her makeover. Keep it as Edith. Okay, perfect. I did not see that comment, which means that it probably lagged out. All right. Computer, MCC settings, notifications, console menu settings, birth notifications. Yeah, I know, but what exactly do I set the birth notifications as to make it work? Oh my gosh, she is so super freaking cute without even doing anything to her. Like, I could probably just add eyelashes and she would be adorable. Like, maybe a little bit of blush. Look how cute this baby is! I didn't even have to do anything to her. Like I hardly had to touch her. Yeah, I want like when they have a baby, I want the pop up to come up so that I actually have to name the baby myself instead of to see what they named the baby. I want to name the baby myself. All right, so we want blue colored clothing for this baby. and this is little Edith she's super cute I mean super cute my niece Sabrina said hi hi niece Sabrina how are you welcome to the stream all right so there is Edith Edith is super adorable we love her I am 
so loving little Edith. Edith is precious. We are going to hop over into the other Arendelle family. We have lots of kids in the other Arendelle family that we need to age up. And then we will age up Vidor as well. And then we'll get back to our gameplay. All right, so let's go ahead and go to Manage Worlds and hop over into the Arendelle house. So we have made it into the Arendelle house. We are going to go and we are going to get little Margarita aged up. And, well, I didn't mean to do that. We're just going to have mom come and age her up. Well, we'll probably have to feed her first because that is, for whatever reason, how that works in this game for me. So we'll come and we'll feed her and then we will age her up. Yeah. So Ivanka's coming in. She is going to feed her baby and then she is going to age up her baby. Age up her baby if I can get it to work. Margarita is not available for age up. Why bloody not? There we go. Age her up. We love it. Uh -huh. Look at little Talia. Talia's like, I get to age up too. Yes, yes you do. Alright, and Margarita is aging up. All right. I actually don't know that she would name her daughter Margarita, considering she is Czech, Slovakian, or Czech, yeah. But that's fine. One, two, three, and we will go into Cass and update. I probably will change this baby's name. She is okay. She is okay. What do you mean she is okay? Oh, your niece is show is okay? Is that what you mean? Alright. Maybe I'll name this baby Ivanya. Instead of Ev um because her mama's name is Ivanka. She's Czech. I think she would probably name it a more Czech name. Name her baby a more Czech name. I'm going to name her Ivanya. Um, and I will 
updated here as well. Okay. And let's give her her makeover. Okay, I first of all don't like that hair. Um, but other than that, let's give her a little bit of a makeover. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let me write that down. Computer. MC pregnancy. Offspring. Rename. Non-active offspring. Um, is that for active? Op what about the active ones? Because technically these are my active households, right? Like I want it to notify me for like my Arendelles and my, is this green? Yes. Um, and the Nielsen, well, the Nielsen's aren't having babies because they're infertile, but yeah. Green. 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 All right, there's Ivanya. She's adorable too. All right, what did we say Ivanya was calm, right? Ivanya is calm. All right, perfect. All right, and then we've got to age up Talia to a child. Two and three for the randomization of her traits. And she gets evil, insider, and lifeless. Oh my goodness. What a lineup. Talia, evil, um, insider, and lifeless. And... What do we want to do as her aspiration, I wonder? Something mental or... Well, she's an insider, so maybe social butterfly. Social butterfly. All right, and for her makeover...
It's for both. Okay, great. Thank you so much. That's amazing. I don't know how you found that, but I'm very grateful. And this one's close. Party outfit. Perfect. And then Winston needs to become a teen. Whoa. All what include happened? active sims only, include played household, relate to active household. These are all the options. Ah, okay. All right, so he has creative, genius, and gloomy. We need to give him another trait. What do you think we should give him as his fourth trait? Creative, genius, and gloomy. Creative, genius, and gloomy. Um, what about... I don't know, good. 
He, let's make him a good sim. Let's make him good. And then for his aspiration, um, he's a genius, a creative genius. He's gloomy and he is good. And he needs to, he can have eight baby tries. Uh, let's make him a friend of the world. All right. I don't know these Sims like I know my Sims, so it's hard to know what to give them. That is my trouble. Um, I just don't know what to give them as far as their traits go because I don't play with them like I play with our main household. So there's that. Um, but that's okay. Oh, I want, I want him to have dimples. Um... Okay, and hair. That's really dark hair. There we go. That's a little better. Maybe that hair. All right. Um, and let's give him his outfits quickly. All right, there's him and his outfit's done. Let's get his photo, perfect. All right, and then we need to head over to the Nielsen household, do Vidor really quickly, and then we are done with the makeovers. I know they're taking forever. There are a lot of make um, age-ups for the day. So let's quickly jump in to the Nielsen household. Genius. Yeah, he was a he is a genius already. Manage household. Oh me for Shayla. All right, Vidor, it is time for you to age up to a teen. I am surprised that Vidor is, um, has been lived, like, has lived as long as he has. 
The thing is, is the fact that he can't marry sucks because now the Nielsen name is going to die out. Because he is their only son. So the Nielsen name has ended. So we've got erratic, glutton, lifeless. He has all three bad traits. We need to give him something positive. Um, how about we give him something good? Something good. Um, let's let, he can be, let's give him, oh no, that's not good. Um, uh, I mean, it's good, but it's not like, um, hmm. Let's make him outgoing. <laughs> Alright, we'll make him outgoing. It's not going to do him a dang bit of good because he can't get married, but he's going to be outgoing. And I suppose we will make him... Um, I don't know what to do with him. Let's do that he wants to do something academic. I don't know that that would fit the time either, but we'll put academic just because I don't know what else to put for him. He can't marry. He can't do anything like, um, Maybe he would want to... Achieve inner peace. Let's do inner peace. Let's do that. Maybe he'll join, he'll become a monk or something. I don't know. But I do know that he can't marry, he can't have kids. Um, the family name is going to die out with him. Which is definitely not ideal that we are losing the Nielsen name. Where did that hair go? Darn it. There it is. Boo! I know. But, you know, his mom was infertile and couldn't have kids. And um, she was, yeah, she had the her first son. And then she couldn't have any more. Like, he died as a stillborn. And then this one she had and then had complications with the pregnancy and then she couldn't have any more kids and now he can't marry so it's very unfortunate that that is what happened but um yeah now he's not really wanting to um, Mary. Does not see himself the Marian sort.
right. Look at me. There you go. All right, there is Vidor Nielsen, aged up to a teen, and we are done with our makeovers. Let's hop back into our main family, and we can go ahead and get back to our gameplay. Look how big the Arendelle family is. But then again, our Arendelle family is just as big. It just doesn't look like it because all of our kids are still little. So. But it is just as big. Boo! Cheerful. We can give him cheerful. You want me to change him to cheerful? From outgoing to cheerful? I can do that. Cheerful it is. Cheerful. I will change Vidor's trait to cheerful. All right, so we have us back in our family. Let's take a look at our family's needs. He's good. She needs to go to the washroom, something fierce. All right, we have good and good, and you need to go to the washroom and get a bath. And Edward is good, and Dahlia is good, and Edith is sad because she was left behind. <gasps> left behind from neglecting an animal. Edith can hardly believe an animal had to leave them due to lack of care. She hopes to prevent it from ever happening again. <laughs> that is not true. We did not neglect the animal. We sold the animal. The animal did not leave because we neglected it. We actually sold the animal for meat, which is probably way worse. <laughs> But, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Little does she know, she's going to be eating that animal later. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, we love that for her. So much. Go use the washroom, please. Thank you. Have a nice day. Come back again. He's like, hey, sweet girl, don't be so sad. It'll be okay. Yeah, why don't you clean up all these bottles from when you fed her when she was a baby when you should not have been doing that? Look at him playing with her with tummy time. We freaking love that. She's like, bless me, I sneezed. Edith should visit the doctor soon. Um, why? Is she sick? Oh, well, we don't visit the doctor in these days. So there's that. Don't get sick, Edith, okay? Just don't do it. We don't want that happening. We just don't need that happening. All right, so we just had them age up. So the next couple of days, we don't have anything going on really other than just us living our lives and carrying on here on the homestead. And trying not to let these children kill each other because it would seem that's really what they do around here is bicker and fight and complain and carry on. Um, we will obviously have dad home for a little bit of time because he's got the next couple of days off, which is nice. He can bond with Edith here and they're going to have some nice little tummy time together and things like that. But... Um, Aside from that, there's not really a whole lot going on. But in two days' time, it will be Edward's birthday, and he's going to be aging up to a teen as well. We'll have our very first teenager in our household, and the first one that is going to be eligible to find out if he's going to be able to be able to marry and how many pregnancy tries he's going to get if he survives his teen role. Not to mention the fact that we will need to pay our first dowry for him when he gets married in the three years time that obviously that's going to take. Um, but of course that's if he survives his teen roll and then if he survives the famine. So there's a lot going on obviously right now in the story in this time frame, you know, not only does he have to survive his teen roll, but he does have to survive the famine itself. You know, they're only eating one meal a day. They, have lost 
all of their livelihood. So they don't really know what's going to come from one day to the next. Which is why I'm surprised why Eileen's acting like, you know, she's all energized right now. But, you know, she's deep down, she's concerned. She's trying to not let it show because she has the kids. Henry is getting into his first fight. Like I said, these children are going to kill each other. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Um, Henry and Ernie now despise each other. Our kids hate each other. And Henry hit Ernie so hard he knocked his tooth out. Alright, let's get him to fix his tooth because he's knocked him so hard he knocked his skin details off. Um, so we freaking love that for him. Um... Uh, let's fix that missing tooth. <laughs> okay, there we go. All better. Oh my gosh. You know, this is what I'm talking about though. Like, I'm gonna have to get Ernie to come down here and he's gonna have to tell them, like, you two need to fix this relationship right away and understand that you're brothers and this is not how we act in this house he's up there playing with his little girl he's like you're so cute and little and you don't give me any trouble and you're just the precious little bean and i love you so much and i don't want to go down there and deal with those stinky boys that are just fighting all the time but he's got to. You've got to go down there and you have to parent them and you have to be a dad, Ernie, because they're literally getting into fist fights. Literally. Knocking each other's teeth out. Like, what is really going on? Now, Edward is very angry. Why? From aggravating conversation. How are we even family? These kids hate each other. It helps fix a bad relationship between you and Blossom. Yeah. He's like, we're working on our relationship, Mom. We're trying to be friends. And she's like, clearly you're not. Clearly you are not doing that. Why oh my goodness he's gonna tell her like you need to you know stop forced to forced to be nice to your brothers because you are not nice to them blossom and she's like i don't have to be nice to them i am the only girl not anymore you're not you've not been the only girl in quite some time you don't get to be ugly Oh my gosh. These kids. Alright, go to the bathroom. You go get a bath. The house is not big enough for me to separate them in different rooms, which is what technically they need me to do. But I can't do that. We don't have that kind of money where I can just be like, you go in this room and you go in this room and you go in this room. They share a room. So, they, and they hate each other. Look at, Edward's yelling at his father right now. Like, he's just a mean kid. Edward's a bully. He's our heir and he is so mean. How do we end up with such a mean kid? I have no idea. But we did. Ernie's like, you know what? I have tried and I have tried with you kids and I don't know what to do anymore. My hands are tied. I'm just, I'm at my wits end. I'm going to go have a bath. Figure it out. Just don't kill each other. Look, she's going to come out here and do what? Oh no, she's taking the trash out. Okay. I thought she was going to come kick the can over and I was like, oh dear. Here we go. 
Trevon Bergson asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? No, you're a nun. You should not say yes. You don't. You're married to the Lord. Like, why do you keep asking me about you dating these people? You're not supposed to be wanting to date anybody. You're insecure from the baby blues. Eileen feels a little blue lately now that the baby has come. Oh, dear. Well, I'm sorry that you feel that way, Eileen. Unfortunately, the baby is here and it is what it is. Why don't you do a little bit of laundry? Maybe that'll make you feel better. She's like, I'm seriously thinking that's not going to make me feel better. Probably not. But the laundry does need to be done. So. Nobody in the house is really hungry, and so that's good. Look at, he's dazed from being beaten up. Taking a good licking can make a sim feel a bit dazed. Edward and Ernie have a difficult family dynamic. Yeah, why is that not surprising? All of our children have a difficult family dynamic. They don't like each other. Maybe that'll get better as they get older and they get into their teen years. But as children, our children hate each other. So we love that for us. It does not make things very easy. Go to the bathroom, please. You guys need to learn how to take care of your needs. He's just up here like, you're the good one. You're little. You don't talk back yet. I just want to spend all my time with you. <laughs> oh, someone's going through a phase. Edward is going through a phase. He's feeling a bit clingly and is going to stay extra close to his favorite caregiver. caregiver. Who exactly might that be? I don't really know. But I guess we'll find out. I'm not actually sure who our Edward's favorite caregiver is, um, to be completely honest. I don't, don't think he has a favorite anybody. He likes to pick on everyone equally, so... Um, I don't know. You need to do something fun. And you need to go to the washroom, sir. Academic might mean he wants to be a cleric of some kind. Universities were run by the church. They had the access to libraries. Are the children so evil? Um, no, they're not so evil. And hello, Higgledy. Welcome to the stream. And that is a good thing. I was thinking he might want to, like, become a monk or something like that and join the church. Um, since he can't marry and things like that. So we might have him join the church. Um, but that's a good good thing. We we might change it back to academic and he might join the church or do something like that. Um, yeah, okay, go, go have some fun time as adults. That's fine. They want to love on each other. We're going to let them go do that. Um, the children aren't mean, Leah Maria. It's just the only one that's evil, per se. He's not evil. He's just mean, is Edward. Edward literally has mean as one of his traits. Um, so he's mean to everyone equally. And then we have Blossom, who is mischievous. She likes to be mischievous and kind of pick on, well, she likes to pick on everyone equally, I suppose. But mostly Ernie she likes to pick on. Like, she really likes to pick on Ernie and give him a hard time. So she's constantly, you know, playing pranks on him and being mischievous to him and so her and him have a little bit of a hard time together. Um, Henry pretty much gets along with everyone except because he doesn't want to be bullied by Edward because Edward's mean. He picks on Ernie so that he doesn't get bullied, if that makes sense. He's kind of like, oh, well, if I bully you, then I'm not going to get bullied because I'm bullying you with them so he's kind of like he's you know if you can't beat them join them kind of mentality 
So it's pretty much the three kids ganging up on Ernie all the time um, is pretty much how it's gone. But the problem is, is just they all have so many different personalities that clash that they just don't get along. So it's not necessarily that they're all evil. It's just they're so all very different. Like, they, they just don't get along. Um, and then we have Dahlia, who is, you know, I mean, she's only a toddler, but <sighs> she kind of has a mind of her own. She wants to do things her way. And so she doesn't really mind that much. <laughs> she kind of wants to do things her way, my way, or the highway. Um, and then we've got now Edith, who is a sunny infant. So hopefully she's going to be a little better than everyone else. I don't really know, but, um, yeah. So as we know, we will be moving on with Edward as our heir. And he is our main sim. Of course he would be the main one, right? <laughs> so we love that for us. And he really likes to be mean to people. Like, he gets in fist fights. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, um, it's a lot of fun. But it also causes the parents a lot of grief. Because she gets tense when she's around the children for long periods of time. Eileen does. Because they fight all the time. And, um... When Ernie is around them for long periods of time, he gets actually, like, really, really tense. Pregnancy. Eileen cannot get pregnant right now because the maximum number of sins has been reached. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Ernie actually gets, like, really, really mad. And he starts yelling at them when they're fighting uh, because he's a loyal sim and he expects them to, like, carry on, get along, love one another, you know, we're family, and, you know, you should, you should get along with one another, and when they don't, he doesn't understand, like, why are our kids, like, why are our kids not, <laughs> why are they not getting along with one another? And it really does make him mad. He starts yelling at them. Give Dolly a bath, please, because she's green. Oh, and our little idiot is crying. What is wrong with her? Oh, she's been awake too long. Well, go to sleep. Try to go night-night. <clears throat> Literally, all you have to do is go to sleep. It's really not that big of a deal. It really isn't. Just close your eyes, go to sleep. All right, this foul hot pot has gone off. There was one left, and it's now spoiled. We'll get her to clean that up. Um, and you need a bath. He desperately needs some fun in his life. Let's see if he can play with these um, blocks up here and if that will help him get some fun. You can mop something. I guess that's what you consider fun. Why don't you come out here and like play in the water? Is that not fun for you? Or go fishing. I mean, fishing will get you guys fun, maybe, and also it'll get us fish. Mom can cook the fish. You know? Here, come fishing. Come go fishing. Let's try that. Will you just go get a bath, please? She's like, I'm cleaning the stove. Nobody asked you to do that, Blossom. I appreciate your hard effort, but like... You are grungy as hell. Alright. It's 7.30. And we're good to go. The parents are just sitting around like, well, what do we do with our time now? There's nothing to do. There's no, f there's no garden. There's no animals. What are we supposed to do? You can collect the beeswax and collect the honey and do what needs to be done. There, is, there are things that need to be done still, sir. And this toddler 
stays green. No matter how many baths she gets, she stays green. She's glitched green. I don't understand it. It doesn't... I don't get it. So I give up. I could give her 50 baths in a row and she's going to still have a green cloud coming off of her, so I give up. Hopefully she's not green still when she ages up to a child. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Although her hygiene is low again. Well, why don't you give her a bath? Give her a bath. Maybe you can get her clean. Maybe dad didn't give her a long enough bath. I don't really know. Or maybe she just gets dirty really easily. Did you catch any fish? No. Okay then. Did you catch any fish? No. He's going fishing but he's not catching anything. And he's going fishing, but he's not catching anything. Okay. Oh, he caught a minnow. Alright. So she is just going to bathe her and then I'm going to have her tend to the laundry. Blossom, why don't you go ahead and get yourself into bed? It is starting to get late so you can go to bed and Ernie, you can go to bed as well. Henry is like, this is stupid. Going fishing is stupid. No, that's not really what's wrong with him. He's sad. He's feeling hurt. Time might heal Henry's pain, but it still hurts for now. He is, you know, got himself... A little bit of sad, hurt feelings from fighting. Because even though he got in that fight with Ernie and he knocked his tooth out, he feels sad about it. Because I don't think they actually enjoy fighting with each other. They just have gotten in this habit of doing so. And now they can't stop. Which doesn't make any sense at all. <clears throat> It's like now they feel like they have to continue being mean to each other. Why don't you go to bed? No, you don't have to deal with the toddler. You can just go on to bed. She's got she's got it. She knows how to put herself down. She's walking herself up the stairs. <clears throat> diaper. No, it won't let me change her diaper. I've tried that. It's like, uh, it tells me she doesn't need her diaper changed. So I don't know. All right, go to bed. You're going to bed. Edith needs to be fed. All right, so we will feed Edith and then mom can go to bed. Come feed her, please. Mom's like, I'm kind of hungry myself. Yeah, well, you're going to bed that way. Because you already had your meal this morning. And it is what it is. One meal a day. That's the way it goes. Sorry, but we are, you know, in the famine. And you only get one meal a day. You got enough... Um, hunger to last you till tomorrow morning so everyone is headed off to sleep now and I guess the only one that actually gets to eat multiple times a day is Edith she got lucky because she gets breastfed so lucky her um so go to bed Edith go to sleep she's like yeah I don't have to okay fine she has unlocked the coup milestone we love that for her She's so sad because she is awake. Well, I told you to go to sleep. Try to go to sleep. There you go.
And it is Monday on the timeline now. We love that for us. We have officially entered 1316 on our timeline. And a whole year of the famine has been going on now. They have survived a year in the famine. They still have one year to go. Technically, we could go ahead and make a roll to find out who's going to die um, if we wanted to. Um, it says that we don't have to roll until 1317. Um, but if we wanted to, we could go ahead. But I don't want to know before we know because then we'll have a whole year that I have to stew on it. And I don't want to do that. So we'll just wait until 1317 and then we'll roll then and we'll figure out who's dying and we'll kill them off then. But technically... 1317 we'll roll and we'll figure out who died from the famine um, so we have one year left before we have to do that I don't care um, about this OBGYN visit we're not going to it yeah whatever um, alright we're going to take her downstairs she is going to um, go ahead and make some meal for the family seed porridge is not enough for the whole family. Um, well, let's make some chunky vegetable stew. Pretty certain everyone's pretty hungry. Yeah, everyone's really hungry. So she'll go down, she'll make that for everyone. We love that. Everyone will have their meal. I don't think I'm going to have enough time in the stream before Edward ages up. I think the stream will probably end before then, so you guys will probably see that in the video. Um, because I just looked and it's, there's only like 10 minutes left of the stream. But Edward ages up on Wednesday. Today's Monday. So he will be aging up into a teen soon. So we will see him age up to a teen. So we would have him age up. And then Dolly is going to age up. And then the following day is the day that we roll to find out who survives the famine. So that's what you guys are going to be seeing soon in the next um, little upcoming bit here of the... Um, like what's going to be happening soon in our, uh, it will probably be in a video, like in our next episode that comes out on the channel. Um, all right, go ahead and call everyone to a meal, will you? No? Okay, great. She's like, I don't want to do that. Okay, sure. Grab a serving. All right, we'll just queue up for everyone to come and grab a serving then. Um, because everyone's starving and mom was like, I'm just going to help myself here. Tripna. Whatever, you could have, you know, helped, you know, had everyone come and eat with you. But no, you just had to be like, you know, like that. Why'd you be like that? She's like, I didn't oh, think about it. <laughs> I was hungry. It's my one meal of the day. Okay, Eileen, uh -huh. you be like that. Yeah. This is the happiest time of their day is their one meal right now. Like, that's so sad. <laughs> but it's the happiest time of the day. They all sit as a family. They're not fighting. Okay, well, I was going to say they're not fighting, but there there goes Edward, you know, instantly pick and fight. Look at Look at Eileen's face. She's like, "Are you kidding? You can't sit here for 5 seconds and eat your food without picking a fight." Ernie does not like 
rascals. Yeah, okay. And Edward dislikes funny sims. Be serious for once. Oh my gosh. They leash has They just don't they just don't care for one another. I was gonna say this is the happiest time of the day for them is eating, but I was clearly wrong. Clearly, they uh, don't have a happiest time of the day because yeah. this family can't get on for nothing. Oh my gosh. Uh, Alright, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here and leave it here. <laughs> and switch screens. <laughs> okay, and we are going to go ahead and leave that there where they are just carrying on with one another. But that is where we're going to leave it. Um, in 1316 is where we're going to leave off and I'm going to um, probably continue that on in a video for you guys in the next episode and we will see how Edward gets on with his birthday and if he rolls up to 18 or not and if he survives that birthday roll and then in our um, Hopefully, I don't know if it will be in the video or if it will be in the next stream. We will find out about the famine rules. So we will just have to see how that works out. Um, but that being said, I will see you guys again on Thursday for our next stream. And until next time, I am going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. And um, thanks so much for being here with me today. I had so much fun with you guys and Leah Maria and Higgledy and Tracy Thanks so much for being here and for your comments. And as always, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Until next time. Bye, guys.